So now we're actually going to see a draft start, which is pretty broken. I think I'm just going to take the uh, assault battery. Uh, just a shock slash hill giant um, is totally solid here. Who's in our draft? Um, Rex is in this one. Rex Eudex, who we famously have a super losing record against. Like I, I literally think the one time that I beat Rex Eudex was like, um, <clears throat> I think it was a Scars of Mirrodin flashback draft, and I had Elish Norn in my deck. <laughs> And I don't think I drew the Elish Norn against them, but still. Otherwise, what could you take? Rooting Kabu, I think, is good. Exotic Curse, I think, is good. Banalish Lancer's okay. Not a very good pack, though. I am a fan of Dream Thrush, but I think Thornscape Apprentice is probably better. Just a Tapper is really good. Um, I mean, Dream Thrush is good, too, and there's a chance that Dream Thrush is better. This is basically a gold card. And this is a piece of fixing, but this is a really nice form of interaction. The one thing is, well, I guess they're both X ones, which are super susceptible to random things killing them. I think it's Thornscape over Dream Thrush. Not a high amount of confidence. If you wanted to take Dream Thrush here, I wouldn't say it was wrong. I could potentially see myself being wrong instead, so that's how I feel about that. Uh, but now we have a Fertile Ground, which I think I probably have to take we can take this and then it can add white mana for the thornscape or red mana for the assault potentially or also red mana for the thornscape urborg volcano is okay but not for us uh what does searing rays do again <clears throat> number of colors of that color okay bizarre um <clears throat> yeah i think it's a relatively easy fertile ground i mean i could take query on elves but once again this kind of thing can just get killed um, and then this can, yeah, I think this is a bit better because I might want multiple colors of mana, and this only can choose to fix for one, but I'm not confident. I'll just take it, though. All right, well, now there's an elf. Ooh, power armor, though. Power armor's busted. I think I have to take this over the Quirion elves. Um, this card's very good. You just turn all your, like, random anemic creatures into pretty potent threats and if we had the picks in the opposite order taking a power armor might be enough for me to take quarian elves over the fertile ground because then you get to turn the elves into a threat as well but that's just not how the packs fell for us and our start is still pretty good here so I'm not going to complain about a power armor and what was the other one mana mage i don't even remember that one there's a Duskwalker here, which is one of the best cards in the pack. Slimy Kavu, not very exciting. <clears throat> I think I'm probably taking Dusk Duskwalker. Phyrexian Battleflies, aka Roterothopter, sort of. Um, Glimmering Angel's not very exciting. I think this card's pretty good. Like, it's 5 mana for a 3-3 three, three with Fear. Um, it's a little bit off plan for us. Um, but I think the card's good. Yeah, that double black is definitely hard. Okay, thank you, Aramath. <laughs> I was about to click over there and do the same thing. Uh, I'm still just going to take it, I think. I don't think anything else in the pack is good enough for me to take over this. And then now maybe I take a Plague Spores. I don't think Ravenous Rats is that great. There's also Pincer Spider. But I don't hate just trying to go into Jund. Um... Yeah, the pincer spider is good. There's a chance it's correct, because I am committed to green, but I'm not committed to the other stuff. Um, I want to take plague spores. I don't know. This is pretty close. Why does this have to say non-black? I guess I'll take the pincer spider, but this could certainly be wrong. It does leave me significantly more open, though. Like, if I end up wanting to play blue or white, it gets really hard to do that after I've taken Plague Spores. This pack is pretty bad. Yeah. Explosive Growth is okay. White is definitely good. You have a lot of, like, tappers, healers, uh pacifisms that kind of thing i think this gin is okay right um 
like just being a 4-3 haste for 6 is actually not the literal worst. It's <laughs> it's a lot like the uh, Kavu. Um, I mean, that Kavu just hits like a truck, though, but um, sometimes you're playing it as like a 4-4 haste for 6, which is pretty close to this. And then sometimes it's maybe a 6-5 if we're lucky, so sure. And there's this pack. I could take the title visionary. I don't know if we really care about colors in this deck, though. There's also a Banalish Emissary, which I do think is pretty decent. And we might be playing white again for the Thornscape. Pretty much in every color but blue here. You could take the title. Just don't know if I'm a believer in that. Otherwise, there's not much. So I'll just keep myself open to white, I suppose. I think now it's a Hooded Kavu. This card's pretty good. Um, Slimy Kavu, also okay. Um, but like gaining fear is pretty, pretty good and pretty exciting. I think just having a two, two that's evasive. Whereas this is more interesting if I end up Naya because that ability is more likely to be relevant, but I'll just take this. I think this is better than the rage weaver. Um, there's another one here, which I could take. Um, I probably will. Urborg Skeleton is decent, too. Yeah, I could take Urborg Skeleton. I think it's okay to take this guy this time. Sure. And then, I think this thing's okay. Yeah, the other stuff doesn't really matter. So we're looking like maybe Jund here. And this thing is playable. Obviously, we had couple of these before in my deck, though it's not exciting. <clears throat> I think I'd just take the Snid. <clears throat> Still think Manipulate Fate's probably playable. It's kind of funny. All right, Let's see if this pack offers me anything good. All right, so here we are. There's a hobble, so well, uh, there's also a terminate. Hmm, terminate's very good. There's also Fleetfoot Panther, which is nice, but we have pretty much nothing to return with that. I think I'm supposed to take one of the removals. Does feel a bit like a coin flip. Like either I take this or I take this. I think I don't think there's an argument for anything else. What does this one do? Uh, I think I'm going to say no to that one. Slingshot Goblin. Um, probably not what I'm supposed to take. I think it's just terminate and try to go into the read that black is open here. Because I have more black cards. Like I have Reaper, Duskwalker, Hooded Kavu. Um, and I only have one card that does anything with white and it's Thornscape. Yeah, it's a very bad land. Maybe not Sorrow's Path level of bad, but it's like... It's got to be down there, I guess. Sure. <clears throat> Terminate's so lame. You wanted the hobble there? Well, we do have a Darigaz's Charm. Ooh, and a Thornscape Battle Mage. I guess I'm taking a Thornscape. There's also another Terminate, but I think Thornscape's better. I mean, it's no Flame Tongue Kavu. I don't think it's lame. Three damage. I mean, this shouldn't wheel. This shouldn't wheel either. But we do... I think we just take this Battle Mage. If we end up with one of the... Oh, we can't end up with something that bounces it, right? Because the only one is Lava Zombie. Because we can't pick up the the green-white one, for instance. Or, um, or wait, no, no, no. There's a red-green one. What am I talking about? We can, yeah, we can end up with the, <clears throat> whatever you call it, the two mana, yeah, thank you, Horned Kavu. Oh, Spark Caster. Oh, I forgot how many gating creatures there are. Yeah, you're right. Ooh, Thunderscape? I think that's better than Lava Zombie at the moment. Darigaz's Caldera would be sweet too. 
but just a 2-2 that mind rots you I think is pretty sick. We don't really have other ETBs or LTBs or anything for the Lava Zombie. Like, obviously, we can't bounce the Thornscape, so let's take a Thunderscape. Yeah, I think this is very, very good. There's also a Mayurkavu. These packs are just looking excellent to be in Jund, so I'm really happy. We won our coin flip there and not taking the Hobble. There's a Magma Burst. Hooray. Nightscape Familiar is okay, Bloodstock's okay, Primal Growth's okay. It's a late-ish Samite Pilgrim, but it's a later Magma Burst, so. Yeah, feeling pretty good at the moment. Um, maybe this will be the, the trophy deck that we've all dreamed of. Though the one thing is, as we've gone farther into red, the Halamjin is looking worse and worse, whereas at the start it looked like we were never going to have as many red permanents as green permanents. And interesting. Do we just want a slingshot goblin? There's another hobble and there's a hunting drake. I think slingshot goblin's good. Slay is probably a little too narrow. Star compass I don't love. Implode is good, but it's not my favorite. I think we're just taking the slingshot. Um, even without the color shifting magic, it should be good, I think. Um... This pack is looking worse though, slash better for Naya, like, for this one in particular I'd rather have Hobble. Um, but I think Slingshot Goblin's still totally fine. Oh, interesting. Sparkcaster and Caldera Kavu. Um, these cards are both great. Does so anyone have opinions on this one? Like, Sparkcaster gives me value with my two battle mages. Caldera Kavu just kind of beats them down. I think I should take Sparkcaster. Yeah. I think the value is too good. Wouldn't mind a Thornscape battle mage either, necessarily. Let's just go for this. Nice, we get rewarded with the Caldera Kavu anyway, which, I mean, I could take the Volcano Imp. These are both really good, I think. Maybe in this deck, the, I don't know. Hmm. I could just take the Volcano Imp, I have no flyers. But I think Caldera Kavu kills them. Maybe not, though. Yeah, I think... I think it's the Kavu, but I'm not 100% on this one. Wow, another one? Seems great. I mean, I wouldn't mind putting Volcano Imp in the deck. Gaia's Might and Stone Kavu both reasonable as well. I think we're looking at being able to cut Kabu Aggressor. We're sort of on splash green for fixing with this deck, which is not ideal. Yeah, the Halam Jin's looking pretty bad. Could probably go. <clears throat> and Thornscape Familiar, maybe? I could take a Hull Breach, but there should be other Hull Breaches. I think it's okay to take this one. Could also take Keldon Mantle. The card is very annoying to play against. But I think it's okay to take this when I have Sparkcaster and stuff in my deck, and then. I don't know. Maybe this is bad, but there should be another Hull Breach, at least. Oh, Bog Down comes back. People don't like Bog Down like I do. Card good. Uh, yeah. And Bloodstock, which could be good. Can't bounce it at the moment, but that's still fine. Pretty brutal card against the white decks. Looks like we might not get the whole breach back after all. Implode. I do like this card. I think enough to main deck it over Keldon Mantle. Yeah, but they're good three mana two twos. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Like I do think our card quality is really high here. Terminate, Magma Burst, Power Armor, Green Black Land. Could just take Lana War Dead. There's also, I should probably just take Herborg Uprising. This thing is just too much card advantage. 
Ja. Ja. <coughs> Sorry, green black cards. There's no way we ever wheel the land of war waste. Wow, consume strength? Now we're talking. There's also an Erdborg Elf, which would be good, but it's not this good. Certainly not this good. Legacy weapon. Sweet card, but not going to work for us. Uh, I guess that leaves us with like Zombie Boa, which is okay. So this pack is... Well, actually, I could take on a Disciple. Green for a thing that gives something minus two, minus zero is still pretty good. Um, and we don't really need more five drops. So I think it's fine to take on a Disciple. Jungle Barrier is sweet, but it's not for me. And I don't know, there will be other random zombie boas and stuff. I think this is fine. Yeah, I agree. Land of War dead now, perhaps. Otherwise, Black White Land. Death Mutation is eight mana. Um, I don't know if we can get to 8 mana, but maybe we wheel like a land of war dead or something. I don't know, I could just take it. Like, this is just a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, yeah, I guess the blue can be activated with fertile ground is what you're saying. I guess that's true. I think I should take this. Pretty low confidence that we end up casting it ever, but I don't know. I don't think Land of War Dead is all that exciting here. Maybe a Dodecapod? I mean, it's that or Dead Ringers. Dead Ringers failed me before, so maybe I punish the Dead Ringers. I don't know. We're already on 16 creatures, but we're going to be cutting a bunch of them. This card's like totally solid in the formats. I think I'm upset with Dead Ringers. I think we're on bad terms right now, so I think I'm just going to pass it. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is wrong. <laughs> hey, Eli, good to see you. Um, I think, yeah, we don't need the Dwarven Patrol. Whoops, whoa. Yeah, whatever. We'll just take this. Wow, another Consume Strength. Seems great. We're playing some Invasion Plane Shift Apocalypse, and we have a pretty nice Jund deck this time. We're getting hooked up with some some powerful gold cards. Ugh, we could take the Dead Ringers now, or we could take the Life Death. Uh, is this card that good? I kind of don't think it is. I think I'd rather have a Dead Ringers in my pool. Like, maybe you turn all your... Yeah, if we can cast our spells, then this deck is probably great. But we just had a rough time of that in terms of casting spells earlier. I think I'd rather take Quagmire Druid. We never got our hull breaches, and there are definitely some enchantments you want to blow up in this format. Land of War Dead is ultimately a hard to cast two drop, even with the death mutation. So I think I'd rather just have a little bit more sideboard equity. I could also take Bloodfire Dwarf, but I think this is better. <coughs> Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Now we get a little bit punished here because there's another Quagmire Druid and I'd rather have um, either the 2-2 two -two or the Dwarf. I'll just take a Landslide, I guess. Or I guess I could take another one of these. I'll just take this. Um, and these don't really matter. This card is okay for blue-red. The other cards kind of suck, I think. So this doesn't matter. I'll just take Smash, I guess. I guess I'm taking Martyr's Tomb. Uh, this format can be fun, but you have to be like a very particular kind of sadist, I guess, to enjoy it. I don't think this is a deck for the Dwarven Patrol, by the way. I don't think we have enough non-red spells. Maybe we do. We can count after. Uh, another Dwarven Patrol, and a Bloodfire Infusion. Yeah, so I guess in terms of whether the format's fun, I would say yes, but you kind of have to be aware of almost everything that's going on in order to enjoy it, because otherwise you're going to run into someone who knows the format better and 
they're going to win games that it seems like they should not possibly be able to win. And that can be kind of a bummer. Well, it's 80 play points to enter these, so that's the nice thing. Um, but I, I would probably recommend like watching some of this format before jumping in. Something along those lines. This, 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 this. Herbord, bog down, Duskwalker. Yeah, you can win games you have no business winning, but it's not very easy to do that, I think. These go in, Calderas go in. Um, we're kind of... Yeah, you can just force blue-white, that's true. I mean, you have to, well, this is one of those formats where you do kind of have to read the signals, because if the cards aren't there, you can't get a deck. But yeah, I guess what I would stick to, oh, Hooded Kapu, I missed that one, is, yeah, this is just a format where if you know what's going on, it really benefits you. Okay, we need three cards. Here are some two drops that we could play. Here are some three drops. We're like way zoomed out. I feel like I'm staring like way off into the distance. There we go. Five drops, and then I'm probably not playing the Halam. Singe, implode, dead ringers. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well. I think that would probably, I don't know. I. Oh, hey, in Inuank, good to see you. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your um, your username correctly, by the way. So let me know if I if I got that right. Uh, yeah. So we are here in IPA, and we have what I think is going to be a pretty good deck, playing some Jund. Bloodstock is so much better than the Reaper that it's not close. Yeah, we can possibly end up playing one of the sea snids up there um i think i definitely want to play all this stuff i think i'm game to play um 18 lands as usual so still yeah looking for a few cards i don't know if i really want these pikers like hasting something up doesn't seem extremely relevant maybe making something cheaper is more relevant um yeah, yeah, I understand. I could main deck Slingshot Goblin. I can't turn anything blue, though. So I think I'm happier if I'm starting this thing in my sideboard. Um, I don't hate Thornscape for the Spark Caster. We can just Spark Caster bounce itself for three mana multiple times, which might be a thing. Um, I don't know why I put that in the wrong slot. And then this is a five drop as well. Uh, so still looking for a couple cards. Yeah, maybe we get the Bloodstock in there, like you are saying. And then we could try Dead Ringers again. This card was not very kind to me last time, but it is... Pincer Spider is lame. I think this card's pretty reasonable. We don't have a very good game against Flyers at the moment, and it, it blocks pretty well. Um, not playing Singe, Implode. I think this is roughly how I want it. Maybe I want the Rage Weaver. Let's move the hidden cards back over. <clears throat> also, <laughs> what? Aramath is so offended by the, the pincer spider slander. I was going to say, though, uh, let's see. Inuens. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Now, now I will try to remember that. Uh, I was going to say, though, did you enjoy... Whoa, are we just... On the satanic 666 mana base here i think we might be look at <laughs> look at this um let's see what this thing thinks this thinks 756 um it wants seven for black there's no way right i don't think that's right if anything is seven, it should be green because we have our um, fertile ground in there. 
I don't know. I think I'm down to just jam 666. I was going to say, though, anyone's did you enjoy the one mana cube draft yesterday? Um, I know you said it was a weird format to draft, which I would definitely agree with that. Um, and personally, I think the cube needs a lot of tweaks, but my my hope is eventually the thing can appear on Magic Online. Okay, we're paired against Woo Burgers. Okay, we're gonna draw first in this format. And this hand is almost good. We have a random Fertile Ground in our Rakdos deck, but just ignore that. <clears throat> Opponent's 1-0, by the way. Keep. And they up 6 their turn, okay. <laughs> Off to a rough start for them. I don't know, they're 1-0. <laughs> um, let's put the Fertile Ground on a mountain, I guess. <clears throat> and then we're going to go turn 3, Dodecapod, turn 4, Bloodstock. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. Wait, did I? Somehow I must have tapped for this incorrectly. Whatever. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's definitely a bit mind melting. And one of the weird things is I feel like, um, oh, we could go for a consume strength here. I don't know if we want to or not. Might just be okay to accept the two for one as well if they go for the block. Yeah, I'm glad it's fun, um, or at least that, that you had fun playing it. I think, yeah, I mean, it's it kind of has to be high complexity, because it's, like, the way I think of it is it's almost like, um, looks like a Jund mirror, by the way. Um, maybe next turn we get to go consume strength plus hooded kabu. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say, though? Yeah, it's almost like you kind of start with every card in your opener in play, in the sense that everything is castable from so early in the game. Um, and then sequencing becomes like super important as a result. You have to plan out your turns super well, like much more than you usually would, in my opinion. Um, so I don't know, I think it's interesting. But I've also <laughs> almost timed out um, at least once or twice in one mana cube so far. It can be, the clock can really be annoying. Something with an additional cost, primal growth? That's kind of strange. Wouldn't you rather sack this? I mean, what is this thing reducing? I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. Currently, I'm thinking we're in pretty good shape here, though. Like, we have six power on board, we have a hooded Kavu. Get to hold up a consume strength. Yeah, the sequencing stuff is really fun and interesting. I really loved, like, one of the things, I don't, I don't know if you got to see my deck at all yesterday. I did just post it. Um, Um, Azorius Chancery, which I think might have wheeled. I mean, I, uh, yeah, I think it wheeled. It ended up being like one of the best cards in my deck, which is kind of crazy. But a big part of that was because it was double on color. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, well, if they do this, then yeah, I mean, it's fine if they want to double block. I think we just send them. They double block one we're gonna pump the unblocked one and shrink one of their guys okay if they do this then it's also fine and just tap some lands quickly this game's kind of over <laughs> i don't know i'm sorry opponent the, about the f6 thing but you really do want to draw in this format oh that's a pretty good card um I don't know if it changes a whole lot here, though. I think they're still getting kind of crushed at the moment. Mountain, give this fear, combat, attack all, and then consume strength and magma burst are just kind of a forced blowout here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's a chance they just die, too. In fact, I should have thought a little bit more about whether I could lethal them. I don't know. This is, like, really sick, though, right? Like, just 
plus two plus two here uh minus two minus two there doesn't really matter and then <laughs> i don't know yeah okay um <laughs> well that was good so opponent is playing Jund. Let's see if that changes how we want to build this at all. Singe is actually looking decent against them because they have some pikers, but I don't think we really want to play to board in a card, at least that kills them. Let's bring in Phyrexian Reaper um, over the Bloodstock and probably just keep things the same apart from that. Yeah, just running it. Okay. Um, yeah, so part of it is definitely that card advantage is super important, uh, but another thing too, like specifically in my deck, because um, I had Weathered Wayfarer and I had Land Tax, so I got to go like turn one, um, uh, maybe this hand wasn't a keep, I don't know, whatever, we're already here. <clears throat> uh, the Zombie Boa. I think we might have taken the Disciple. Oh, wait. Interesting. Okay, well, drawing the Mountain is like, well, it has to be the best draw on the deck, I think. Unless, I guess we could have drawn Fertile Ground, and that's technically better, but still, come on. Um, <clears throat> classic 666 mana base working out. But yeah, we got to, we had some sequences like I think I offer the trade here. Um, like turn one. Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Uh, which one do we want to offer the trade with? I guess the Hooded Cob. Well, no, let's play the Caldera Kavu. If we do this, then we're not planning on blocking, but that's fine. Actually, maybe I just keep this thing back. Maybe it's fine to offer this trade. And I keep my life total high. Yeah, because at the moment we're missing some action. I think it's fine to offer this trade. Because if we don't draw land, then we might be in trouble here. Yeah, if they make us discard the dodecapod, that'd be pretty sick. <clears throat> I think I'm just supposed to block. Anyway, um, oh, okay. I mean, that's not ideal for me, but it was definitely less backbreaking than the one that we played against them. And now we have Dodecapod versus a 2 1, and we have a couple things in Graveyard for Uprising. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I just, in my head, this is just Colorless Hill Giant. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, playing some good cards. Let's see if we hit the untapped land for Duskwalker. I guess all of our lands enter untapped. Still looking like we're in great shape. They've had like multiple pretty nice two for ones, but I don't know. Now we just Urborg Uprising and it seems like we kind of did it. Yeah, <laughs> good call, Tim. Or good catch, really. So I guess going back to what I was saying about the um, like bounce land, yes, an actual Woo Burger. Um, we could go like turn one, Thraven Inspector kind of thing. Uh, that's fine. I guess we can. Oh, well. <laughs> now we're just gonna protect our life total even though we could probably afford to get aggressive because like yeah. <clears throat> anyway snap blocking that's fine ooh the pinger is a little annoying does inform what I'm getting back here with the uprising though. Um, 
I think I just get back the three threes. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I get back Caldera Kavu. Oh, thank you for the follow, Inuance. Um, I definitely don't want the one ones. Do I want Caldera Kavu? Uh, trying to figure out how I'm going to spend my mana. So at the moment, yeah, I think it's okay to get the the Caldera. Land, and then definitely cast Duskwalker here. The funny thing is, um, if they didn't have Razorfin Hunter, then we would cast it for one, so we could Spark Caster it. <clears throat> I can't Spark Caster it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Oops. Somebody knows how to read. It's not me. Um, let's just play two two twos. Or wait, maybe this is the spark caster turn. Yeah, thank God for the razorfin hunter, indeed. Slash, thank God for chat. Uh, let's just hmm. Let's just develop two guys. The opponent can't really block either of them. The thing is, like, if I play the spark, well, I don't know. It seems hard to lose. Oh, they forgot to ping me into turn. <clears throat> I guess I should have held up green. Oh, I actually punted pretty hard. If I held up green, then I don't get got by dead ringers here. That was a pretty big mistake, because now I just have two red creatures. Um, let's just play this on the, uh, the swamp. And then if they block, we get to get them with our consume strength. Um, I think I'm just playing a dusk walker here. And this time we have to go shields down on the color changing, but that's okay. They didn't have it last turn. I don't know, this one should be pretty straightforward, I think. Okay. I don't really see how they win this. This time they remembered the ping, whatever that's worth. Horned Kavu, that's decent. Opa's in here, oh, that's cool. Yeah, Tubelave definitely knows, knows his IPA. Um, wow, this is pretty gross. Do I just start with this? I don't know. I think I do that later. Let's start by giving this fear. And then I guess I can just attack all. There are too many ways for this to go. Uh, I guess I have this going on too. I mean, this is just, I don't know. I don't think the opponent can do anything. Yeah, apparently they agree. So we have one pump here, and then we still have a Thornscape Battle Mage. Oh, I forgot to... If I don't know if Opa is actually here, here or not, but I forgot to tell him. He sent me a picture of this avatar. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh 
captain's maneuver. We might be okay versus captain's maneuver though. Feels like a captain's maneuver to me. Yep. Okay. So, so they're the first target, and the second target is the Duskwalker. Um, so this thing is going to die, but that's fine. Uh, and they still take five damage. Yeah, this is just okay. Oh, I can, well, can I? I guess I can, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, I could plus two here, and then because they only did three damage, maybe that was just better. Yeah, that was almost certainly just better. Oh, well. I don't know if that changes a whole lot. I'm just in, like, rapid fire mode, because I'm trying to get to other stuff today, and I would like to just win this match and be done with it. <laughs> yeah. I had the kind of core chant thing in my head where like, yeah, that's fine. Pay the white kicker. I didn't feel like it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I mistapped. Card's extremely good. Um, but at the moment they just die if they take the damage, so, because I can just pump this and then, yeah, this is fine. Flying in pseudo lifelink. Hmm, I can't just kill them on the spot, right? Do I somehow have lethal here? I give this fear, I give it plus two, no. Okay, so we just do this. You have to block. Now do I have lethal? Let's see, I might have lethal, guys. So we can minus two this so they gain no life. And then, well, how much mana do we have? We have eight mana. So I can spend, I would have to leave up one red. I have a feeling we have lethal here. Black, green, red to consume strength, killing this, pumping this. Then we have two pumps. So two, four, six, eight, ten. That's lethal. So we go plus two here for fun, minus two here. Boop. All right. Perfectly played, absolutely no mistakes. Definitely didn't brain fart on how the spark caster worked. Okay, let's try again. Okay, yeah, so going back to what I was saying before, basically I was able to keep hands specifically with like planes, chancery, and either wayfarer or land tax. And then if I just had like one other random white mana, or one random one drop that I could develop, I could go like turn one, uh, like let's say for instance that I'm on the draw. They go turn one, land, play their thing. I go turn one, planes, play whatever my non-land tax card is. And then I go, Magus of Woe. I, I think I know this opponent. This hand's okay. Um, keep. Um, Hooded Kavu is nice. I like this deck. Um... Basically, yeah, we could then end up in a spot where on turn two, they already have two lands in play. Uh, and my one land in play is a bounce land, so they have no 
no choice, like the Wayfarer or the land tax will already happen regardless. Um, so that was really sick. And then it was also just really good as like a dual land that draws you a card. I mean, that's just always the case. Okay, uh, they're on Grixis. That's one of the better decks in the format for sure. Let's go for the Caldera here. We might be on Spark Caster Bounce itself, potentially, but probably not. Our hand is so insane. Look at this, though. This thing's dead. That's okay. Okay. This, I guess, and then that. They're probably on just all interaction, it seems like, at least. Kavu Glider. Okay, card's fine. Interesting. Um, let's see. There's a chance I could end up using double green. I think I just give this thing fear. I don't think I want to mess around with the consume strengths yet. Yeah, it is really nice. And um, the other thing is like, we played a game against Crackshot in round two where he kind of spent like the entire game um, trying not to give me land tax value, but then because one of our lands was a bounce land, we were able to cast all of our spells anyway. So he had to like try to play the whole game with a forest. That was another thing that I wanted to mention, kind of forgotten about. So now we're in this spot. They really need to kill this. If they just play another blue or red guy, they get rung. I'm hoping for Meyer Kavu here from them. Thornscape, okay. Um, I'm just gonna, well, yeah, I'm just gonna try to go for it. Yeah, the drop of honey was almost brutally good against me, but thankfully it didn't quite work out. Okay, we'll try this, and then I'm just going to go for a Consume Strength. Plus two, plus two here, minus two, minus two on the one that has more power. Hopefully that works. Kill your guys. Hooded Kavu, pass. Yeah, I mean, the Punish there would have been like a Bounce spell, but I guess they still lose a guy. Is an X spell killing my spark caster? No, I thought it was illuminate, but I guess not. No, my second blue creature to kill with the thing. Uh, this seems totally fine though. We actually want them to block here, so we don't want to give it fear. Yeah, c confound would be pretty ugly, but I guess I had another consume strength up at the time, so it would have been okay. So now we go plus two, plus two here, minus two, minus two there. Boop. Let me just play this guy. Oh, they didn't have blue mana. That's good to know. I maybe should have played a land. Not totally sure. Annihilate. That'll work. We do have to deal with my random idiots that are left. Their strength is getting consumed, but they're still in this, like, much more than you might have guessed, I think. Let's play this, and then Caldera Kavu leaving up some stuff. After drawing the Caldera Kavu, they're in worse shape. Uh, I can't do anything about that, so it just happens. They now need like a black 2-3, basically. Or like a, oh, if they had a Dodecapod, that would be pretty bad for me. Recover on the Snid. Okay. Yeah, their deck is quite good, by the way. Like, they've only played good cards. I mean, their worst card is, like, 
Vodalian Merchant slash Kavu Glider, and those are both totally fine. <laughs> the hope is that they just play another blue creature, of course. Like in addition to the Snid. I don't think I have anything that can burn them out. Magma Burst and Assault don't quite do it. Yeah, Grixis, I mean, I think blue, white, and black, red are the color combinations where you have access to, um, what was I gonna say? You have access to like the best two color decks if you can make those happen. Technically correct to do this once I've already gone to combat and attacked, but it doesn't change anything. I'm just going to do it. They're going to kill it. That's not ideal. All right, we need them to play one more guy. We are now no longer necessarily ahead. Their deck is just all two for ones and good removal. They can't really color screw me while they're attacking. Okay, please have a blue creature as a follow up. Yeah, exactly. Blue guy, Prage, indeed. Please? I mean, that's blue, but it's something else, too. That works. This says can't be regenerated, I believe. Yep. Oh, but maybe I'm supposed to Urborg Uprising? Um... Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if, like, I could just go for the spark caster loop and just try to kill them. It's three mana to go through the spark caster loop. I can play a land. I'm probably supposed to at least get spark caster, and then maybe I get a hooded kavu, which they can't block. Um, how many lands do I have in play? Three, six, seven, eight. So maybe I just go for, well, I don't want to take too much damage is the one problem. So I guess I just kill their guys right now. The old feeding, feeling defeated about they can't be regenerated is funny. Okay, and then our card in hand's very good. We're not taking any damage at the moment, unless they attack, of course, in which case, obviously, we are. Well, OK, here they go. Ooh, that's not ideal. Dang, their draw is like really, really good. Now I think I have to play Sparkcaster and try to trade on blocks. Sparkcaster, do we want a Caldera Kavu? Their last card is Sea Snid. I think we still want the Hooded Kavu probably. We're in, like, not amazing shape here, though. No, I... But then I want to be able to block the 3-3. Three, three. I don't want to take too much damage. I think it's a Caldera, but low confidence. Okay, I have to tap correctly here. Red, black, black. Red, black, I think. Might have to hit a land... Yeah, I think I do have to hit a land. Uh, what a game. Is my opponent beating me? I can't play Sparkcaster and Thornscape. I'm a mana short. So we have to play this into this. This is target creature, right? A 
Maybe I messed up here. Maybe the Hooded Kavu would have killed them. Okay, they play that. And the Vodalian Serpent. Yeah, so they really had it all. Now we draw Bog down. It's not helpful. Let's see if there's any way I can kill them here. I think I'm... I don't know if I'm losing necessarily, but I'm not feeling great about my spot. So I can do this trick twice. Um... Bog down doesn't help. This has to go in, and I think it has to be chump blocked. Yeah, no worries about having said anything. Okay, this goes in. Three pumps is a lethal threat, so they have to get this out of there. Okay, this is fine. And then, do we just spark caster twice? Spark caster twice, can they beat that? I just bounced the thornscape the second time. Wait, no, maybe I bounced the caldera the second time. Oh, I tapped wrong. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Playing the 3-3 three, three doesn't work. Shoot you. Bounce this. I think we want to keep the Duskwalker. Because the thing is, it doesn't have fear as a 1-1. One, one. I think I'm probably not... Well, I mean, if they just draw a brick, they're five cards deeper into their deck. I have to block, or I die. Maybe it was right to play the Duskwalker as a 1-1. One, one. Now I die? Yeah, maybe that was what I needed to do, because now I... Yeah, I think that cost me, because the other way, I would have had this as a 1-1 one, one chumping there. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I needed to play this as a 1-1. One, one. They still have to chump. Yeah, very, <laughs> very brutal stuff. Well, good game to the opponent. Certainly a good game. That was on, that was, yeah, just definitely on me for not playing that better by running out the 1-1. One, one. I just needed to do the math and think about the attack all. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was not great. Um, how do I not lose to this opponent? Slingshot Goblin seems pretty good. Take out the Bloodstock. Probably just try like that. Ugh, that was bad though. 
feeling a little bit rattled after not playing that very well. Let's draw first. This hand's okay. Needs a creature. I It's pretty incredible that they survived. I mean, it did require me messing up, but still. I wonder what happens there if I don't mess up. I just live another turn. I have another chump blocker for the C-Snid. The 2-1 or whatever. Okay, well, Spark Caster is not ideal. Consume Strength can be awkward when you have <laughs> only one creature in play to target. Maybe. I I somehow feel like I had a lot of equity there, and then I didn't. <laughs> okay. On a Disciple. I don't think that matters all that much. I think I'm just going to Spark Caster. I really want to bog them down. They're missing blue this game. I think I'm just supposed to cast my spells though. They're like auto yielded here too, which is nice. Yeah. Now we're just going to put three of their cards into the graveyard. Yeah, I'm not sure what their hand was, but obviously it hasn't gotten there. <laughs> we might be enabling an Urborg Uprising from them, which is kind of funny, but I think it's still correct to go for this. Yeah, it seems like they might have Urborg Uprising on these two. I wonder if what I did was bad. I don't know, it's probably okay. Because if they're casting that, they're like taking six damage. I don't know. Here's Magma Burst on this, maybe? Wait, they're killing both? What are they doing? Okay. Yeah, that was pretty odd. I mean, I'm just left with a 1-1. One, one. Like, admittedly, it's a good 1-1, one, one, but they must really like their cards in hand or something. Okay, power armor, sure. Just draw, like, any creature, please. <laughs> How many creatures does this deck have? 12? I guess two of them are in the bin, so not that many draws. And there's Recover. Still no islands from them. There we go. All right. <clears throat> they have to kill this, kind of. They might be able to kill it in response, but I can't play around that. I'm not doing anything else here anyway. Okay, now they're kind of dead. <laughs> sure. Yeah, just a very strange one, I guess. Okay.
All right, well, that was weird. <sighs> don't love that though, I don't know. Like what are our chances? Like their deck has so much card advantage. They have double recover, they have annihilate. Their deck is kind of awesome. Does work better if their mana actually functions though, that's for sure. I think I just try again. This is decent. They're mulliganing. Also, they chose to play first. Uh, we're drawing lands that I'm not thrilled, I guess. <laughs> no blue creatures for me. Sad. Well, here's the bog down again. We also have this. So we might be able to just mind rot them, mind rot them, but their cards are so good against mind rot. That's a little bit annoying. Other black creatures, so I guess I don't want to turn this black. I do think I want to bog them down here, I, th I think. I could also just play the Caldera. Maybe that's just better. I'm, yeah, I don't know. Before they like tried to race me pretty hard. Sure, let's just do it. I have no idea whether this was right. Mountain Sea Snid. I guess that's reasonable. And it's like pretty likely they have no cards in hand after the Thunderscape. Coming for four. Volcano Imp. Cover. Okay, let's see if they play a land. Um, do I just put them to one card in hand? I think so. Wait, what? They just scoop? <laughs> uh, I guess I made the right play. Okay. <laughs> Second finals today. Here we go. Okay, we're paired against a 1-0. We win the die roll, which means they win. Good hands. <laughs> Keep. I still think I misplayed the game that I lost against that opponent, by the way, but, you know, we can we can move on. <laughs> Brutal 2-drop for me? That's uh, actually pretty good against me. Can't terminate that or anything. Yeah, I mean, this currently is very good against me, I guess. I might just be super weak to this card. I have some Kabus and stuff that can block it, but like, can't kill it with consume strength. All right, here we just have to pass. Uh, we chose to draw Wacky. Oh, here they go. Uh, I mean, it's not good for me, but it is allowed. I don't even need to float mana here, so I'm just going to let it happen. That's like an incredibly aggro 
hull breach. They just sacked a land to do that. It doesn't change that much for me. It's just the bloodstock is a turn farther out, and we weren't really doing very much with it anyway. <laughs> We will just die to this thing eventually, if we never draw anything, but we will probably draw something. Looks like they are on all air over there. There's a consume strength. Yeah, it really was a legal play, wasn't it? It's funny that they like found the mountain too. They must just be on like all mana sources. They must have kept like lands, whole breach, cameo, Okay. I think I'm happy enough playing the consume strength here. I don't think they had Tron at the moment, but I do think they got it the turn after. Now we're already kind of back in the race. We just need to draw some red cards, please, Tech. Pro Black is so good against me. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, it's not good for me, but. <laughs> okay, we might just die to this 2 2, folks. <laughs> Oh, oh, when I already have Tron. I thought you were saying they already had Tron. Yeah, yeah, good point. All right, I have four more draws to draw anything that cares about this pro-black guy, or stops it, really. That works. <laughs> Please don't kill my Thornscape. I need it. <laughs> don't kill my 2-1. Okay. Okay. Why do they do that? I'm just going to draw anything ever, right? Ooh. <laughs> I did draw something ever. Is this a trigger too? So I think I get to not do that. Yeah. Oh, we uh, we don't have white mana. We would have had white mana. Uh, you. Bonk. What is going, is this a magma burst? Is this a, wait a minute. Uh, I was wondering if it was captain's maneuver. Yeah, I guess they got me. Now I just need them to play another green creature, like another mono green creature. Just like a stone kabu, you know? Just a nice little stone kabu. Yeah. What? They're giving me the trade? There's no way that's right. Wait, they played... What? Okay, they're hellbent. Okay. Anything ever? Part two. I mean... We can do that, but we don't need to. <laughs> Please be a mono green creature. Uh, it's a mono green card. I don't know how much damage I'm willing to take from this Urborg Elf, but currently I'm thinking I'm willing to take like six damage from it. Uh, 
I am still willing to take damage from this Erdwarg Elf. <laughs> That's annoying. I think I'm supposed to wait. Cards are instants. There's no reason to act right now. <sighs> Power armor. Why? <laughs> um. What I could try to do is see if I can get them to forget about shackles, but that seems worse than just trying to kill their thing. Yeah, we don't have a choice now. So I have to like, plus two, plus two here, minus two, minus there, and then just terminate that. So how much mana does it take to do that? Like, can, slash, can I still play the power armor? I could, well, if I terminate this, then they get shackles back to hand. What I could do is I could take four damage. And then if they play another mono white card, then I still have dead ringers. I think the upside there is worth it. So one, two, three. Uh, yeah, I have enough mana. Yeah, the other thing is I can't terminate this because it's not a flag bearer. Okay, well, now that they've drawn this, I like, because they played their land, I, I think I just kill their stuff. I almost wonder, I mean, they wouldn't be f6 here, right? I don't know, whatever. I'm just going to hope we draw a creature, I guess. Don't play your land first, folks. I almost went to one life. Yay! Oh, this is sick, right? Because we make them discard and blow up an enchantment, and either way we get the shackles. Oh, shoot! No, I stacked the triggers wrong! Oh, Okay, chat, don't be like me, <laughs> even though it worked, don't be like me, please don't be like me, that was so sloppy, that was so sloppy, <laughs> uh... But we're not that sloppy. We're we're quite sloppy, but we're not the sloppiest, you know. All right, we're almost there. We've almost reached trophy capacity. So presumably they're dead. Yeah, and then we were looking to win one post-board game and then wrap, wrap up this little experience for today at least. Um, anything I want to change against this deck? The Bloodstock seems good against them. We could think about the Reaper as well. Um, we might want more random red guys, so we're not as cold to the green-white 2-2. Two -two. Could play the red piker. Um, 
I think this is okay-ish. Just try again. All right, good hint. I can't believe that I stacked the triggers incorrectly and they still returned the thing. I think they're just like, they're just jamming, you know? They're kind of doing what I was doing where they're just clicking cards really fast. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> In my defense, I was thinking about newer templated cards where when you like kick something in multiple ways, they happen at the same time. But do I really have a defense after that? Probably not. Probably not. Ah, the Legionnaire and the Crown of Flames, okay. I don't know if that matters. Like, now they're on one land, you know? I wonder if I can just... Maybe I should just minus two this. Well, I can't do that yet. So I guess I have to play the Kavu. And they don't really want to trade it, I imagine. Whatever. I'll just play the Kavu. That, at least that's how I thought it worked. Like, I thought they went onto the stack at the same time. Interesting. I think I get to go for this now. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, those that looks a lot like two triggers to me. Okay, they have chosen this. This outcome. That's okay with me. I think this player probably hasn't played this format before. Shackles, no. All right, but now we're still in this spot, which I think is good. We have way more mana. Um, yeah, I think we're in good shape overall. Like that consume strength killed three things, sort of. I'm not going to type nom nom nom. <laughs> uh. I would, <laughs> yeah, Eli can do that. Okay, they do have this, but we have the magma burst. I'm going to take some damage from this before using the magma burst. We want to kill two things pretty badly. Well, we've done it again. Uh, they can't have Captain's Maneuver here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Alright, looking good. Looking good. I've also been really hungry for a while. No, I could have gotten more value with the Thornscape. I finally have the Fertile Ground for the white mana and they played the artifact. Um, oh. I don't even know which one is better here, honestly. I guess I'm just bouncing itself having it bounce itself. I mean, I could bounce the Caldera. Well, 
let's see let's see what they do here I should have enough mana for this 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 I don't really know what I'm playing around, but I yeah, just pick up the shackles maybe. Yeah, that works. But now we just do this. Boop. And now we're like insulated against a wrath and a bunch of other things. <laughs> if they play an X2, we kill that. They kind of have to replay Shackles this turn, or my thing is untapping. They're playing that, so now we have the thing. Yeah, I think we just kill their stuff. We just like send this in to start, and then we have exact mana for that. This is looking pretty painful for the opponent. There's a chance I could have just like tried to set up lethal there by pumping a bunch of times. I didn't really think about that. Uh, Cause I thought something like this might happen. It, I don't know, it might have been better to just bounce the Thornscape, but I didn't really see how it could go poorly. Yeah, it's true. The cameo survives another day. They're like, I'm not dead on board, and we're like, well... Alright, I think we did it. After... Beating a crazy rare in round two of our last draft and then losing a finals that was not even close to close. We are on the board. Hooray. Um, I should probably just go, but for fun, uh, let's hop in. If we're over, if we're at like five or six, then I'll stick it out for a draft, but otherwise we'll just go. Oh, we're at seven. Okay, we can do a draft. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>